Okay, so as NASA's Dawn spacecraft has been approaching Ceres, I've been really interested in the images that it's been sending back to us. I'm sure you've seen in the news the lights on the surface of Ceres, or what appears to be lights. I got really curious when I noticed that these lights continued to show up on the dark side of Ceres, so I decided to do some 3D animation tests and see why this was happening. Okay, so I've read NASA's possible explanation as to the cause of these lights uh, being ice at a distance above the surface of Ceres catching uh, sunlight, and I have to be honest and tell you up front that I was skeptical of that cause. But I decided to go ahead and mock the whole scene up in 3D to scale with a sun at the appropriate distance from the surface of Ceres, match up the angles, and create a star-shaped geometric pattern on the surface of Ceres that would have a lot of angles to catch light and uh, we'll go ahead and proceed through the process of that. Okay, so I created the larger of the star-shaped objects with a diameter of five kilometers. So I'll give you an idea of the scales I'm working with here. I played with materials until I was able to get a material that had the right amount of specular highlight to catch the sunlight, and I also added a bit of a glare effect to the camera to pick that up. Okay, so in this shot you see on the right the images from the Dawn mission, and on the left you see the 3D Studio Max mock-up. And I was setting up the frames for the animation here so I can match the speed and the rotation before doing some render output to see the effect. Okay, so going back to the original images from the mission, you can see as you track the lights, they go over to the dark side and they continue to linger even as everything else is obscured by darkness. And that's actually the effect that I thought the 3D simulation would disprove as being able to be done just by ice above the surface. But let's go ahead and take a look at the simulation and see what the results show us. Okay, surprise, surprise. Did you notice that the reflectors continue to reflect light back at us well into the dark side of Ceres? Let's get into the mechanics of why this may be the case. Okay, so if you look at the shadowing on the right side of Ceres in this image, it kind of gives Ceres the appearance of being shaped like a football, and I don't believe that's its true shape. I believe that this is an illusion that makes it look like the radius should be a lot sharper as the lights rotate out of our view than it really is. So I put a grid on top of my 3D model of Ceres to actually show the shape of Ceres as it goes through the rotation. Okay, so let's take a look at this again inside 3D Studio Max. You can see our star-shaped light reflector objects, and you can see from the upper left to the lower right lines that represent the sunlight. Now if you follow that, you can see that it can actually reflect sunlight off these star-shaped objects farther into the dark side of Ceres than I would have guessed initially. So this is just a crude attempt to answer some questions for myself and after going through this uh, exercise and simulation, while I do not know what the lights on the surface of Ceres are, at least NASA's possible explanation does make sense and could work as they explain. So hope you enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun walking through this and learning this for myself. Again, it's a crude attempt. I have no idea as to the actual accuracy of my simulation here, but it answered the questions clear enough for myself. All right, talk later.